All right, folks, I have what I consider this to be an amazing vehicle. And what I mean by that, I'll explain as we go along. Let me tell you what it is. This is a 2005 Dodge Grand Caravan SXT with the fold and stow seats. And I'm going to tell you, here's what I, one of the things I think is amazing. First of all, I often say in these videos that I would not be afraid to drive this or that vehicle across the country. Well, I actually mean it in this one because I did. Well, I drove it halfway across the country. Let me start her up and then I'll tell you the story. I actually took this over the 4th of July week um, out to Ohio. I, obviously, I'm in New Jersey. So I probably, I have put over 1,500 miles myself personally on this vehicle. And I can attest at how nice and how good this thing runs. Now, let me put the tilt wheel down and you can see that it's got 189,062 miles. Obviously, I bought it with less than that on it. So yes, the mileage for an 05 is a little on the high side, not ridiculously so. But I can attest that everything in this vehicle that I'm aware of pretty much works and it works good, and it drives and rides like a dream. Like I said, I have a lot of miles under my belt with this vehicle, so I'm very confident in all the things I will tell you about this vehicle. First of all, let's start with the obvious. Right power window, down and up, no problem. Left driver's window, auto down, up, no problem. If you look in the mirror, let's see if I can do this right, you can see the left rear vent go out there and in and let's see if I can do this to the right side and as you can see the vent works exactly as it should it has power mirrors which I know they work because I use them a lot and to the right side of course there's your power mirror works exactly as it should now this particular car or vehicle I should say has power doors one there that's usually the first thing to fail on these mo these minivans are the power doors but as you can just saw yourself the right one works. Let me come around and we'll do the left side. And let's see here. There you go. And it's even got the little gizmo on the keyless remote that operates the doors remotely. So, you know, as you're walking up to the car, that sort of thing. I think the battery's a little weak though. You probably have to replace the battery because it's, yeah, it's pretty short range. Cruise control absolutely works. Guarantee it. Well, as far as saying it, I mean. Um, your little power outlets, they work. I've used all of them. Headlights work exactly as they should. It's got the um, driver information center. That works exactly as it should. So, you know, no problems there. So you can just reset all this stuff. Elapsed time there. Distance to empty. You know, it does all that stuff. So anyway, so that all does work. Let's go back to the temperature. Oh, well, there you go. Uh, air conditioner, front and rear air conditioning, ice cold. The only thing I cannot comment on is the cassette deck or the CD player because don't have any CDs or cassettes and I haven't used it, but the radio yep, does work. Okay, and it's got you know a little graphic equalizer and all that stuff, bop, bop, bop. Uh, like I said, climate control works. Look, it's got this little, um, you know, your little cup holders and stuff. This pops out, so obviously there's that huge holder in there. Look at that, it even has a uh, another uh, power thing. I didn't even know that. It's got this little cell phone holder that you have to have the right kind of phone, though. Unfortunately, an iPhone in um, a case does not fit. That, I can tell you, is very much so. Okay, so let's go, and we're going to check out the outside. Now, even with the mileage on this thing, it actually is in really, really good shape in and out it's not perfect of course because you know what 10 year old car is or i should say nine year old car is but it really is in good shape all right let's do the tires you can see they're mounted on the nice aluminum alloy wheels i'm gonna get my handy dandy little gizmo here that measures tread depth and we'll see what the uh tires say on this all right this front tire that's about 8 30 seconds which means it's 230 seconds over half of the tread. So yes, it's got pretty good tread in the front. All right, rear tire, let's check that one out and see. And that one's got, that one's almost, yeah, I'd say that's 830 seconds as well. Come on around to the back here. And this is your right rear tire. And we'll see, it looks like that's about the same as the other side. Yeah, 830 seconds of tread on that one. And the right front, 
Let's see what that's got for us. And that one's about 730 seconds. So yeah, so typical, you know, vehicle. You know, one's always a little off. But moral of the story is you can go a long way without having to put tires on this baby. As I said, the clean aluminum alloy wheels. Let's start on the body. Right front fender. No dings, no dents, no scratches, no rust. Coming up this way, you can see the roof. I apologize, it is a little dirty. We have, you know, there's still the pollen issues. Has the full roof rack with the crossbars, as you can see, which I think is pretty much a must for any minivan. Deep tinted glass, as you can see. Now let's open this door up. And here, let's check out the uh, interior here. Check this out. This is your passenger side seat, bucket seat, of course. And you can see how nice and clean. Somebody actually really took care of this van because you can see how nice the seats are, the armrests all work. You know, this is, like I said, for an 05 in fantastic shape. And I, I got to tell you, it's really a well cared for vehicle. All right. Right side sliding door. No nicks. Well, one little nick right there. No dents, no rust, and a couple little, I don't know, imperfections, I would call those. Hit the door. Now, this is what's cool. As you can see, the interior is nice and clean. Okay, actually, one thing I didn't do before I get to the interior, is I always like to do the door jam. And of course, I'd like to show you guys the door frame, because this is really the best indicator of whether this vehicle is going to have a corrosion problem, and especially right down here. But as you can see, clean as a whistle on this baby. All right. Now, these seats, yes, they are captain's chairs, but this is the best part of this van that I absolutely think is the greatest idea. Whoever dreamt it up, Honda, Toyota, Chrysler, whatever, doesn't matter. This has the stow and go seats. In other words, all the seats in this van, you don't have to take out. They fold down flat right there into the floor of this van. So let's just say, you know, you're in a rush and you got to load a bunch of stuff. You don't have to wrestle with these big ass heavy seats. Fold them up, bing, bing, bing. They fold right into the floor and now you have a flat surface. I left the back one down to demonstrate. That's the rear bench seat right there. It's a split bench seat, but as you can see, I left that down. So you can do any combination you want. You can, if you're only carrying three people, you need to carry crap, you fold one of the seats down. If you need the whole back, you fold them all down. Or if you need all the seats, they pop right back up. Fantastic idea and it works great in this van. All right, let's go to the, this is the right rear quarter panel. As you can see, paint's clean and shiny. Whoops, I hate when they do that. Sometimes they do it. Then you just shut it like that. Uh, clean, shiny, couple tiny little dings, but nothing major at all. Coming around to the back. Uh, the rear bumper had some uh, peeling off, so obviously it's, you know, been a little touch up painted, but no big deal. Coming around, here's your door jam, or trunk jam, I guess you would call this to be technical. And here is your trunk. Here's another trouble spot on vehicles is along this seam here. You'll see them, they have rust, but this one, a yeah, tiny little bit starting there. But other than that, very nice, very clean. But as I said, look at, here's your little uh, instructions on how to do the stow and go. I actually had to read them because I didn't know. But as you can see, take this. Oh. One hand I just did that with. Uh, I think you, know, you do need two hands because you got to pull the back of the seat up. But anyway, as you see, it pops right out of the little cavern there and boom, you have seats. And you can either leave this, you can do it any variety of ways you want. I'm not gonna sit and give you all the different ways you can do it. But as you can see, really, really useful van. There is a stain right there. And I have to admit, I did that because I carried a bunch of chlorine from my pool in the van and one fell over. So that was my bad. I did make sure I got it on it right away so it won't eat the carpet away. So yeah, it left a stain, but sorry about that, folks. Anyway, that is the back of the van. So then you just close this. Boom. Your Grand Caravan. As I said, it's an SXT. The trunk, the hatch itself on the outside, no nicks, no dings, and no real scratches. Come along this way. We'll do the roof on this side. There you go. And of course, you know, same thing, deep tinted glass, etc. Uh, left rear quarter panel looks very nice, but there is a scrape and a ding right there. And I think there's something, yeah, here it is. And I don't know what that is from. That almost looks like a tree or something. A tree limb fell against it. 
But that's pretty much, you know, it on, on that area. All right, coming around to this side. Let me open this door up. Now, you can if you want. You can do it the old-fashioned way. And as you see, it opens very easily manually. And, or, you know, you can use the button. Look at these seats even have, uh, I think it's a little, yeah, cup holder there. Check that out. Pretty neat. I tell you, Chrysler has really perfected the art of the minivan. Since 1984, when they were the first innovator to come out with these things, they're pretty much the leader in the forefront of any minivan technology. All right, and there you go. There's your door on that one. We'll hit the close here. Love the power doors. This does have a power seat that operates in all positions. Okay, and here's a nice closer look at your driver's seat. It's interesting because even with the mileage, the bolsters are still firm. The seats aren't worn out. I mean, you could pull ho up home in this minivan and no one, I promise you, by riding in it, looking at it, or dr even driving it, would be able to tell that it has the mileage on it. It does. But the good news about that, especially since I've actually put significant mileage on this myself, you'll be getting it at a very inexpensive price, comparatively speaking, and you're going to get yourself one heck of a great vehicle. Come down here, and as you can see, again, clean as a whistle, no issues with corrosion whatsoever on that door. There it is, stow and go. And as you can see alongside this van, driver's door, nice, clean, no rust, no dings, no dents. Left front fender, no rust, no dings, no dents. Coming around the front, again, same thing with the uh, bumper. You know, it had a couple of, some of the paint was flaking off. But, you know, it does not look horrible. The headlights nice and clean which was great for you know driving at night of course and even if you look down low you can see it's got the factory fog lights but even the uh the, the thing is not all busted up now looking under here you get a good look there you go underneath and of course the most important thing is this now i happen to think the 3.8 liter engine is one of the best engines chrysler's ever made this one is evidenced by A, how great it runs and how it sounds. And let me rev it up for you. You can even hear how good she sounds. As you can hear, even up to the rev limiter, no knocks, no valve train noise, no tap, nothing at all to worry about. Like I said, I honestly, and I mean this from the bottom of my heart, would hop in this vehicle and drive it to California right now. I even changed the oil in this van, something I almost never do, but since I was taking it on a trip, I did change the oil. So it's only got 1,500 miles on a fresh oil change. And of course, I had my family, my dogs and everything in this. I would not do that in a vehicle I didn't trust and take the chance. So of course, I made sure this was in fantastic shape before I drove it. There you go, you can see the hood, no problems. Again, no rust, no rot starting underneath. That down and here is your hood obviously in the front there's some stone chips and you know nicks and stuff but that's what you would expect obviously putting some mileage on it but no dents a minor little scratch there but nothing really major and check this out should you live in the state of New Jersey you will get this with a good New Jersey state inspection sticker on it until January of next year so that's well over six what's that six seven eight months whatever of inspection left on this baby and if you don't live in New Jersey there's no check engine lights on no warning lights and everything I know of on this vehicle is good you should be able to pass inspection in all 50 states but I have to say I'm not an expert I don't know all the laws all right so all of this is great very functional very nice looking beautiful on the inside great running vehicle but I don't want you to take my word for it. We're gonna take it for a test drive and you can see for yourself what a fantastic running car this is. All right, folks, we're gonna take it for a ride now, but as I always like to do, the first thing I'm gonna do for you is I'm going to restart the vehicle at, now that it has been warmed up, okay? It has um, sat and idled for quite a while because I always like to show you guys that they you know, start good cold and you saw it start ice cold. It was just first shot this morning if it hadn't, hadn't been run for over a day. And of course, I like to show it starting warm because different issues can, you know, represent themselves or surface depending upon the, the temperature of the engine. And as you can see, she starts right back up. And I don't know if the camera can see this or not, but all the lights went out. So there, again, no warning lights, no check engine lights, nothing like that. 
couple features I actually didn't mention on this besides, you know, the slide and door and everything. This also has the home link transmitter, which basically all that, it's like instead of having a remote for your garage door, you program it in, you don't have to carry your garage door opener anymore. I, I always just thought it was very convenient. That is, if you have a garage, if you don't, then I guess it means nothing to you. This vehicle has anti-lock brakes. It's got traction control, which I think is a great feature, especially in a, if you live in a uh, place like we do where we get snow in the winter time. The van's actually very quiet. It's a nice, quiet vehicle. It goes down the road, as you can see, take my hands off the wheel. It goes down the road very nice and straight. I mean, yeah, I have to say, I'm really confident in selling this vehicle to someone that you're not gonna have any issues with it at least not immediately. I mean, any vehicle you're going to have issues with eventually, but right off the bat, there, in fact, this is one of the few vehicles I can say, you can pick this vehicle up, drive it home, and you have to do absolutely nothing to it. You don't have to change the oil. You don't have to get it serviced. There is nothing you need to do to this vehicle except put gasoline in it and drive it. And isn't that what we all want? All right, what I'm going to, here we go. I'll really step on the gas here so you can see it shift good. Five miles an hour up through the gears no problem uh, it's very rare when you can buy a very inexpensive vehicle like the ones I typically sell that you don't have to do something to them but this particular one is going to be something you can take and right away have to do nothing all right, I'm gonna do a little brake test for you and basically all that's gonna do is show you that the ABS works it'll tell you if there's a brake imbalance problem like it'll swing the wheel wildly right or left so keep your eyes on the steering wheel but you can't really feel the brakes, so I'm gonna to have to describe them to you. I already know how they are, because I've driven it a lot, but I like to do this test anyway, just so you guys can get a little bit of a sense, at least, of how the brakes are. So I'll pull in here, take my hands off the wheel, and, and the car, ABS worked perfectly. You can see the wheel did its little dance like it's supposed to with anti-lock brakes. I could hear the pump going. I was on you know, loose gravel, of course, and you can see it stopped in a perfectly straight line and quickly, actually. So like I said, it's got the traction control, ABS, dual airbags, I mean, all the things you want in a vehicle that can help protect your family. Because typically, most people that buy minivans are buying them for their family. Well, here's one for you that I think you, know, you will be very pleased with. And yeah, I, like I said, I'm really happy to be offering this vehicle because it is so darn nice. Okay, let's do a little recap here. This is a 2005 Dodge Grand Caribbean SXT with the fold and stow seat package. Um, just, and like I said, I, I can't rave enough. And normally I don't get that jacked about and excited about a minivan. But if I didn't have the experience I did with this one, and I wouldn't about this one, but I have. It's a great little van. Like I said, I could have drive, driven anything I wanted. Um, out to Ohio, but this is what I chose for the utility because I knew it ran great for all those reasons. That's why I chose this one. All right, let me take a nice little walk around to end the video so you guys can see, you know, just how nice this vehicle actually is. Folks, there you have it. So if you need a nice, inexpensive, reliable seven-passenger vehicle or two-passenger vehicle, depending on how you set it up, this is the one for you. Thanks.